back in the north of the Emerald Isle and we, I'm at home. I'm in my mom's house um, where I stay whenever I'm back up north because didn't need a place up north. The bear is called Finn. It's all snug and comfy in the kitchen. There he is waiting at the table. Now there's somebody else very special I want you to meet. And let's see if we can get her out. So this is Fern. Fern, what do you do? Tell them what age you are. And who's your favorite person in the whole world, huh? So me and Fern are going to spend two whole days together before I have to go back down and core also molding them. I'm actually allergic to dogs and cats uh, and horse hair. I wasn't when I was younger when I first got Fern. Since I left the ho left home and went to uni, I've become allergic to dogs, cats, everything. Real sensitive chest. So I'll pro I'm a ham I always have to take at least two or three antihistamines whenever I go home. So I'm on those at the minute. Which is why I can be this close to her. I have weights to do today and then tomorrow we'll get back on to the air because we got home late last night from Italy. Getting Finn through the airport was quite difficult. But we managed to get him through. The ones in Ryanair were giving me some... Ryanair people were giving me some really dirty looks on the plane, but he sat on my knee anyway. Have we Ethiopian bad boy on the go now? I've no time for art. Hopefully, if it's not too cold, I'll be able to get some weights done in the garage, which is just next door. Let me give you a wee tour around the garage first of all. Squat rack, some bounce plates, spare bars, mirrors for form, bench, extra plates, bikes, row, bike, clean cars, fixie, gin, supplements, Old hockey sticks, more bikes, archery equipment, golf. Ready lift. So in recovery days, it's kind of like lighter weights than usual, so you can't just go off feel. So I did some cleans, hand cleans, just higher rep hand cleans at like 85 for the final two sets. Eight, I think it was eight reps. And then did squat, just five sets of eight at 95, just moving. And then I'm on bench at the minute. And I don't know if this is safe or not or whether what the crack is with this, but um, I have like a thinner 
bar and then like a couple of two inch bars. So usually you leave the thin bar on here on the bench just because you don't really bench that often but it's good you just develop the front compared to the back so like push pull so you don't get an imbalance there's like a 10 a 10 a 5 and a 2.5 so I suppose that's 27 and a half on each side which makes it like 55 plus the bar I assume is 15 because it's a smaller bar um, so what's that 55 plus 15 60 70 kg just four sets of 10 banging it out hopefully it doesn't follow me so i've come up to belfast um to the club that i'm currently a member of belfast book club and i'm with a plan to go out the water but there's a dredger on the river and you're not allowed on because it's blocking the middle of the base so we're gonna jump on the thing the jig there, the roll perfect, and bash out 20k, I think. Just with the water trial coming up this weekend, I wanna be on the dynamic machine and working on just working pretty much. And then on the second session later on today. There is no heating in this place. I'd say it's colder in here than it is outside because there's just like thick brick walls. So that's why I'm getting ready in fleece and scarf and only get into the one piece at the last possible second and then get moving and stay warm. My normal, so cold, my normal trainers are in a bag in a trailer on their way from Varese to Savonia in Italy. So I find these old, like Metcons um, that I'm going to use today on the road perfect. Sometimes I go bare feet, but it's too cold to hide it for bare feet. So the main issue with this boat club is the boathouse is in a separate building and then you've got all these tennis courts and then the main clubhouse down there and the shower and the heating doesn't work in the boathouse so you have to walk in the freezing cold back to the change rooms although the change rooms do have a shower uh, a sauna, sorry not a shower they have a sauna and they are very warm and toasty indeed Good morning, welcome to my mama's bitchin' new kitchen a while ago, I got an email from this company um, and I thought it was a spoof. And they were saying, oh, we liked your social media, blah, blah, blah. We'll send you some stuff. You've been chosen by this company. They were like, oh, the company's pulling there. And I was like, aye, that's a shop. Aye, very good, very good, lad. Very good, mate, no bother. It wasn't a spoof. It all arrived uh, the other day and Exciting times, and apparently I have to take a photograph, put it up, on the line. And tag them in it. Who knows? But I got myself a free coat. Nice coat, reflective. Keep you safe from the bike. Banging. So I'm having a uh, Greek yogurt and cookies for my second breakfast um, because why not? I have a pretty busy day today. I leave for Cork at 2 because I have a physio appointment in Cork at quarter past 6. It takes about 4 hours to get down with no traffic so I am leaving it a little bit tight. But that happened. I 
I have to get weights done in the meantime. And then meet my friend who got engaged. Who is... He told me on the phone. He, want, he wants me to be one of his groomsmen. So to, I'm going to go meet him for lunch because I don't see him very often. And we live together all through uni, so it's good to catch up with him. I think three cookies is enough for the Greek yogurt. They're actually Tesco cookies. Um, triple chalk. Not bad. Not bad at all.